everyone, this is Heather. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I've got a card tutorial for you and we're going to be making a quick and pretty wedding card. I know a lot of couples aren't getting married this year, but there are a few that have decided to go ahead with their weddings and I do know a couple that's getting married. So I needed a wedding card and thought that I would share this quick and simple wedding card with you all. On this card, I'm using a cream cardstock base, just an eight and a half by 11 sheet cut score folded in half, and then another quarter of a sheet for some stamping, a little piece of soft pink for some die cutting, and for some trim, I have some five inch pieces of some gold twine and some pink grosgrain ribbon. And for my layers, I have some more of that soft pink and some patterned vellum. The products I'm using today are from Stampin' Up. I'm using the stitched rectangle dies for the layers. For the pink layer, I used the second largest stitched rectangle. And for the vellum, I used the next size smaller. And hopefully you can see it adds that pretty stitch detailing around the edges. I'm using stamps from the Stampin' Up meant to be stamp set. This is available in their current catalog. And I'm going to be using this heart in the meant to be words. The Be Mine stitch dies uh, coordinate with that stamp set. And then like I showed just a second ago, I'm also using the rectangle stitch dies. The vellum is from the Stampin' Up! Botanical Gardens. I'm not sure if this is still available anymore, but I had quite a few sheets left and I thought it would be perfect for this card. And real quick, I wanted to share a really handy tool with you that I recently picked up. I know that this has been out for a while, but I'd been wanting it and thought it would be a great addition on my craft desk. This is from Spellbinders. It's in the shape of a giant diamond and the front of it is metallic. So if you are working on your desk and you have small little dies, brads, grommets, anything that's metallic, you can put them on this tool and it will keep them in place and they won't get lost. Especially when I'm working with really small dies, I find I end up getting them mixed up with my paper, they fall on the floor. Um, so I thought this was a really handy tool. I've been enjoying using it. I picked it up from Amazon and I will link it in the description box down below. When I design wedding cards, I really like to emboss. I think it gives just a nice elegant touch. I usually use silver or gold, I used gold on this card today. So I'm going to be embossing on my cream piece of cardstock. I'm taking my EK Success powder tool and I'm going to rub that on the cardstock to prevent any strays of the embossing powder from sticking where I don't want them to. I'm using clear Versamark ink and a gold detail embossing powder for my embossing. I'm going to ink up the heart and stamp that on my cream cardstock. And since it's clear, I know you can't really see it until I pour the embossing powder on. I'm going to pour that on and tap off the excess and go ahead and heat it. When I'm doing multiple images, I like to do them one at a time. Stamp, pour the powder on, and emboss. Just so that I know I'm not going to accidentally run my finger through the embossing powder and maybe mess it up. So I've got my heat gun and I'm going to go ahead and heat set my embossing powder. And I hope you can see on camera how nice and shiny that gold is. And now I'm doing the same thing with the sentiment. I just wanna make sure around each of these images that I'm leaving enough room for the die cuts. Pour on the powder in my handy little tray, tap off the excess, and again, heat it with my heat tool. And if you don't have an embossing tray, I highly recommend picking one up. They are so handy to have to be able to easily put your embossing powder back in the container. They also work for beads and sequins, any other type of embellishment that you might have. Before I die cut my images, I wanted to add a little bit of color to the heart. So I'm using my Stampin' Blends markers. There are sort of abstract flowers and leaves going around the inside edge of this heart. So using the palest shade of pink pirouette, I'm going to fill in the flower images and then to add just a touch more definition, I'm going to take the darker shade of the pink pirouette and go along just the bottom edge. It just gives a little bit of a depth to the coloring. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the leaves. 
but I'm using light old olive and then going in with the dark old olive just at the bottom tip of each of those leaves. And that just gives some pretty extra color. Now I'm ready to die cut my images and I'm going to line the heart up. This cuts out a scalloped heart around the edges and a solid heart around the stamped image. And then I'm gonna take one of the smaller stitched rectangle dies and die cut out my sentiment. So I'm finished with my die cutting. There's my sentiment. And I die cut out the heart from the cream that we had embossed earlier. And I got my heart die cut out and then this little scalloped edge. I'm gonna save this for another project. I did the same on my extra piece of pink paper and I'm just going to keep the pink scalloped edge and save this for another project. One of my favorite things to adhere vellum down with is brads. I have a bunch of them. I haven't really used them in a while so I thought this would be a great project to use them on and on my little tool here I've got some stuck. It's just very helpful to keep them in place and they're not going to get lost on my table. So I'm going to center the vellum that I die cut earlier over the pink that I die cut. I'm taking an eighth inch hole punch and I'm gonna punch holes in all four corners, making sure to hold my vellum exactly where I need it to be. Now a lot of times I will go ahead and punch two of the holes, put the brads in, and that will hold my vellum in place and then I can punch the other two. So I'm just putting those through, opening up the back. I'm gonna do that on the other side. And I'm just gonna repeat that on the other two corners of my panel. With my brads in place, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my ribbon in twine. I'm taking a piece of regular scotch tape, kind of taping the tail of those two pieces together. I place that where I'd like it and just wrap it around to the back and tape that in place. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Just be careful not to pull too tight so you don't tear your cardstock. I flipped that panel over and also the embossed heart and the embossed sentiment and I've placed foam squares on the back of each of those pieces. I've removed the backing paper and I'm going to center the pink panel on my cream cardstock base. I'm going to place the sentiment in the lower left hand corner over top of the ribbon and twine. And then I'm going to place the heart kind of in the upper right hand corner. I flipped over the scalloped edge heart and I'm using a glue pen to apply adhesive on the back. And then I'm going to center that around this heart and press that down into the vellum. And here's our finished card. I think this is really elegant, but also soft and sweet for a wedding card. I really love the gold accents of the brads and the embossing. I think that just adds such a pretty metallic touch. I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out my channel and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!